So today I am here on a rather brisk but sunny day here in northern New Jersey and I am going to film yet another shopping trip. But this one is going to be a little bit different than the ones you've seen me film before. Today I am at Morris County Farms and Morris County Farms is a large greenhouse and nursery in northern New Jersey and this is a place where I come to to get a lot of my house plants. Uh, this is a great set of greenhouses for houseplant lovers because they carry lots of common and more unusual houseplants uh, for those of us who love to collect. Today I'm specifically here not to look at typical houseplants, but to start my holiday plant shopping. So today I'm looking specifically for those types of plants that I can fit into my holiday decor. And I came here first out of any other store in the area because I know this particular nursery will have what I'm looking for. Uh, I haven't been inside yet. I'm not exactly sure they're going to be okay with me filming, but I'm gonna try. And hopefully I'll have an opportunity to peruse a lot of different varieties of plants that we typically use to decorate for the holidays. Maybe talk a little bit about what I know about them, but there's a lot that I don't know about them. And uh, maybe even purchase some, hopefully can show you what I got at the end. My primary purpose today though, is to find smaller sized holiday house plants that I can use in vintage planters. As many of you know, the vintage planters that we have available to us typically have very small planting areas, particularly the ones that are holiday or Christmas themed. So I'm trying to find smaller size plants uh, in two or three inch pots. And I have a feeling of any place that I typically shop at, this is the place where I may be able to find those. So join me for this shopping video. I'm actually pretty excited about it. This is my first real plant related shopping video for YouTube. So probably the most well-known and commercially available Christmas plant is the poinsettia, which some people refer to as a poinsettia. I'm not sure either one is correct or incorrect, but here we have some beautiful sort of pinkish poinsettia. And this particular location is full of gorgeous plants. And as you can see, they offer them in so many different sizes. And throughout this video, I am sure, even if I'm not talking about them, you will see them at some point in the frame. All different sizes, shapes, colors, they just carpet the floor of this location and they're so gorgeous. Here we have these beautiful red poinsettia of the ruffled variety. And it's interesting and this may be something that some of you know but what look like the flowers of the poinsettia are actually just colored leaves that we call bracts. The flowers are actually down here in the center. Really, really tiny. And while we're down here, look at the variegation on these leaves. That beautiful speckling from red to pink. So pretty. Here are some vibrant red plants. Here's a pot with mixed colors. Down here we have some well red plants that are so deep. They almost have a velvet looking appearance. And again, you can see all those flowers down in the center of the plant. For me, poinsettia are a must in my holiday decorating. And many of these will be coming home with me today. As I said, the displays of poinsettia keep going on and on in this store with so many different varieties. This plant with the dark red leaves and almost a lime green colored speckling in it is so beautiful. These plants are native to Mexico and Central America and they're part of the Euphorbia family of plants. And with careful attention, you actually can save these plants until next year and get them to rebloom. 
it's a bit of work, I have to tell you, but it is possible. So down this aisle, we see some more poinsettia in a color we hadn't seen previously. And yes, poinsettia can even get an orangish tint. So this orange and pink color on this plant is quite amazing. And the range of colors that poinsettia can come in is quite spectacular and beautiful. There's a poinsettia for any type of decor, any type of plant arranging. Another great plant for the holidays, and not only the Christmas holiday, but also Easter and Thanksgiving, is this plant here, the Schlumbergera, or the Schlumbergera, depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, also referred to, as I said, as the Christmas cactus. Depending on what time it blooms in the year, though, it could also be an Easter cactus with a slightly different leaf shape, or the Thanksgiving cactus. And here we just have a variety of beautiful colors. Again, a fairly easy care plant, but in my experience, does like a little bit of a higher humidity. And in fact, one of the things that I noticed is some of the most gorgeous specimens of Christmas cactus that I've seen grow in laundromats where the humidity tends to be very high. You may have also heard this plant referred to as the zygo cactus. So like most plants, there are many both scientific and common names, but just so many varieties and so many sizes to choose from. A larger size here, a smaller size next to it, and then down here at the base, little ones that you can pop into planters. Now again, this is one of those plants that we often see grown and sold in retail outlets, the big box stores and grocery stores. I do prefer to purchase mine at nurseries. It's a little bit better of a chance that they were grown in the conditions that will help them live a bit longer life. Because again, this is a plant that can live year round. It's not a disposable holiday plant. Um, it is something that can become a part of your home interior landscape. Just so many colors, so many sizes to choose from. Definitely one of my favorite holiday plants is the Christmas cactus. So just beyond this amazingly large poinsettia is another great holiday plant. These are cyclamen and they have both beautiful leaf patterns as well as gorgeous velvety flowers. And here we see them in both red and white varieties. For me, yet another plant that I need to have in the house for my holiday decoration. And down here, I actually see the perfect size for me because I'm going to pop these into some vintage planters. So previously we saw some beautiful red and white cyclamen. And down this next aisle, look at all of the color variations of this beautiful plant. I cannot wait to grab some. I'm particularly attracted to this lilac color here. So I may need to get one or two of those. And I will show you at the end of the video all of the plants that I decided to take home with me. And look at this lovely arrangement in a bowl. It's a cyclamen in the front and a begonia here in the back, all in the same bowl, the pole. And a couple plants, quite frankly, that I don't know the identity of. But that is really beautiful. Imagine holiday gifting that to a plant lover. Heck, I'd love to get it.
So I'm approaching a rather special display in this store. This store is actually full of special displays, but I love this one. This old upright piano that's used to display different plants over the course of the year. And right now it's displaying these huge amaryllis bulbs. Now amaryllis is another common holiday plant. Uh, often again, you see this available in grocery stores, but these are what the bulbs look like in case you've never seen one previously. They're large, and if you just look at how big it is, you know, as I'm holding it, that's a pretty big bulb. And these amaryllis um, look like lilies, and that's what the flower looks like. And uh, probably not surprisingly, they have some common names. They're, they're referred to as the belladonna lily or the jersey lily. However, they're only distantly related to lilies. Amaryllis are native to Australia and South Africa, and they can be purchased in lots of different forms and varieties. And I'm definitely going to grab some today. Here's one called Lemon Star. That's gorgeous. Here's another one called Aphrodite. And next to it, Apple Blossom. Such a great plant to grow. Very satisfying too, because as many of you probably know, these are tall, statuesque plants. They can get very large in a matter of just a few weeks. So it's very satisfying to see them growing. And in fact, I just looked over my shoulder and I see some that are actually in the process of growing right now. They've been potted up and this is what they look like when they begin to grow. There are some more. So amaryllis, another great holiday plant in the store so far. But right here, we have some more bulbs that have been forced in this really neat looking wooden trowel planter. These are Narcissus. Now these are related to the daffodil. And these are another holiday plant that you can grow indoors. Typically we plant them around the holidays so that we have a little bit of late winter, early spring flowering in the house. But it looks like these ones may have been planted a little bit early this year. And I can actually stand here and smell the aroma of just these two open flowers. It's pretty spectacular. Now back to the amaryllis. Let me just show you one more because on this plant, the flower is just about to emerge. How pretty is that? And it's going to be a red color. So amaryllis is definitely not a plant to overlook when you're planning your holiday plant decor. So in the last few years, we've started to see amaryllis bulbs being sold in these wax coatings, which means that they don't need to be in any other sort of medium in order to grow. All of the nutrients and all of the moisture that this bulb needs to flower this season is contained within the bulb. So what this plant manufacturer has done has coated the bulb in wax, and that actually helps it maintain some moisture, and put it on a stand. And left like this, given the right humidity and temperature, it will bloom. And speaking of amaryllis blooms, look at this beautiful plant. And this is a three-stalked bloom. So this bulb has three stalks coming out of it. One of them hasn't bloomed yet. We're waiting for those blooms. But the other two have each produced four blooms apiece. Such a great display from one plant. It's actually quite amazing when you think about it. So beautiful. There are also a number of evergreen plants that are suitable for holiday decorating. Here we see some very small lemon cypress with a much larger 
specimen behind it. And the one over here. And here we see some myrtle that have been shaped into round topiary. How beautiful is that? And over here is a beautiful angel vine that's been trained onto this circular wire topiary. And rosemary is always a great plant to grow inside and to tuck into your holiday decorations. And it also gives off that amazing aroma. This location is just full of little vignettes, a lot of fountains. Look at this stump growing air plants up on the side. How great is that? And here's that plant from earlier. Let's see if we can learn what the name was. This is the plant that was in that arrangement we were looking at earlier. Hmm, here's the name. Can we pronounce it? Well, let's just call it the silver strand. Calocephalus, the silver strand. This is a pretty tree, and actually, or a pretty plant. And actually, in holiday decor, that silver is really an appropriate color, don't you think? So in the rear of this particular greenhouse, we see that a whole new assortment of plants have come in. And it's interesting because I was actually looking for one of these earlier. And I didn't see one in the normal greenhouse and it must be because they've been sold out. But just poking out of the top of these packages is this beautiful plant that resembles an evergreen pine. In fact, its common name is the Norfolk Island Pine. And this is a tree that you often see in other stores. Oftentimes they decorate them and put tinsel on them for Christmas and sell them as an indoor pine tree. Now, interestingly enough, they're actually not a pine. They're a tropical plant, but they do resemble a pine in many ways. And they are quite easy to grow indoors given the right condition. Um, so it is a pretty spectacular plant because as you can see, they're typically quite large. So these are another great plant for the holidays. These are Kalanchoe. They're uh, a tropical succulent plant, mostly from Africa and the island of Madagascar, but they're just gorgeous. And these are plants that can continue to live beyond the holidays. Um, Kalanchoe is a really large uh, group of plants. Again, they are succulents, so they like they like to be watered, but they do like to drain in between waterings. Um, but look at the, the blooms on these. These are just gorgeous. They have these nice, big, waxy leaves that, again, store a lot of water for the plant. And this uh, nursery has different sizes of the Kalanchoe, um, primarily in, in red and white. But I have seen them in other colors. I've seen pink you know, hybrids. And then there are, there are really tiny ones too, if you just have a little bit of planting. And this is what I always say with the vintage pottery. If you are someone who's interested in planting into vintage pottery, if you go to a high quality nursery, you will find plants that are well suited for a lot of vintage planters that maybe are a bit on the smaller side. These little plants are, are perfect for that. So over here is another reason it pays to shop at a plant nursery rather than a big box store or a grocery store for your holiday plants because you can find ones that aren't readily available in those other locations. And here at this nursery, we have these beautiful ardesia also called the Christmas Coral Berry. And look at the berries on this plant. So gorgeous. Now, this family of plants comes from various places around the world, but they do make good house plants, and with proper care, you can keep them alive throughout the year. Down here, we have one 
white berries. And I love decorating with this plant because it looks like holly. At least the berries look like holly berries. Just another great choice for your holiday plant decorating. Here is yet another color variation of the poinsettia. This really interesting lemony yellow color. Very beautiful. And below it is a reminder that there are plants that we actually can see all year round, like this fern, that work particularly well during the holidays. Just give you a close up on these beautiful leaves which are tinged just at the edge with white, almost as if there is frost or snow on the tips. Another gorgeous plant to work into your holiday decorating. Oh, I can't wait to grab some of these. So once again, we see more poinsettia here, but what I really wanted to show you was the plant that's beneath it. This is a house plant called Calathea stella. It's part of the Maranta family, also known as the prayer plants. They are not necessarily the easiest plants to care for. They can be pretty finicky in terms of water, in terms of direct cold drafts from the front door or a window, in terms of humidity. So this is a, a plant that a beginner might have trouble with, and even a more experienced plants person like myself often has trouble with. There are often quite a few insects that like to live on these plants as well. However, one of the reasons we see them in the nurseries is because they are beautiful. And this particular variety of Calathea is well suited for holiday decorating. And look at it combined with these red poinsettias. What a beautiful display that would make in your home. Another plant, a tropical plant, that's well suited for holiday decorating are the bromeliad, and right now we see a whole group of them in flower. Look at how pretty these bromeliads are. And when we look down the middle, we can see those gorgeous flowers and these vibrantly colored red leaves, and in different shapes and sizes. Now there is another tropical plant which is very popular for the holidays and for holiday decorating. However, I just don't see many varieties of it here at the nursery today, and that's likely because it's so popular that they're waiting for a new shipment to come in. But I do see one example down here at the bottom, and it's this gorgeous plant with this amazing display of color. This is an anthurium, and the red that you see here, again, is a leaf. It's called a bract, and the flower is actually the stalk here with all of these little flowers at the end of it. Anthurium are another great house plant because not only are they great for the holidays, but you can keep them alive year round with proper care. So as you can see behind me, there are just more and more plants. Now, a lot of these are tropical house plants, most of them are, and I just don't have time to go and look at all of them today. Today was really uh, a video for shopping for holiday house plants, um, but I definitely think I'll come back in the spring and show you all of the tropical house plants that I love decorating with because they are just so plentiful at this particular location. They have such a great variety, and there are so many great plants to talk about, particularly for those of us who love uh, combining our love of vintage pottery and vintage glass with plants. Uh, some plants are much better suited to working with vintage materials than others, and I would love to have conversations on YouTube about that. So for now, I'm going to grab my purchases and I'm going to go up and check out. But I will show you uh, a little haul of all of the plants that I've decided to take home with me today. Okay, I just loaded up the car with all of the purchases and it is a little too cold outside for me to do a haul video here at the nursery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to head home and I'll bring all my plants inside, make sure they're well protected, and then I'll show you what I got there.
So stay tuned. Okay, it may look like I'm still at the plant center, but I am not. I'm back home and I'm safely indoors where it's warm and I have unloaded my first set of Christmas plants that I plan to purchase this season. And as you can see, I got a little bit of everything that we saw in the video. So I got one of these gorgeous Norfolk pine trees, really, really tall. Now we didn't see one fully in the video. They were still packaged up, but this is what it looks like when it's no longer in that brown packaging. So pretty. And then of course I got a variety of poinsettia in all different colors and all different sizes, some larger ones down here, and then these mid-sized ones. And I also got some minis that I'll show you in a minute. I also got one of these gorgeous coral berry aurelias, these beautiful berries at the bottom. I also got a plant that I didn't show in the video, but it's a great holiday plant and it may look familiar to many of you. This is a spathophyllum or commonly referred to as a peace lily. I love having these around the house. They are a little uh, picky when it comes to water. They like to be wet. So we gotta watch them in the dry of the winter. And I also got a definite share of Christmas cactus. I got large ones and I got small ones, all different colors. I got some of those beautiful frosty ferns that we saw before. I got a mossy fern. And then I got a bunch of different sizes and colors of the cyclamen or the cyclamen. There's a pink one. There's a red one. I got some white ones. Here are some of the mini poinsettias in the one inch pots that I got. I got a few potted up amaryllis. Both already have um, some blooms on them that are about to, to open. That's exciting. And I did get one of these silver strand plants. I'm gonna play around with it just to see, um, just to see how it is. And as you can see, one of my cats just visited us. And then finally, I got some of those Kalanchoes, those, um, those succulents that I showed in the video. So I'm really excited to work with these plants in my holiday display, which I'll be beginning this week, and show you all how I use these gorgeous plants with my vintage Christmas items. Thanks everyone for watching.